Hi, I'm going to show you a few ways to figure out your word count in a Microsoft Word document. First of all, it will often keep a running word count right down here in the bottom left hand corner. But one of the problems with that is if you are citing something using footnotes, that uh, word count will automatically include the footnotes. And your teacher's requirements, if they've given you a certain word count, most likely does not want the word uh, the footnotes in that word count. It, it wants the body of the paper. So there's a really quick way you can change that. So right now I've got 321 words. If I go up to review and I click on word count, there's a little checkbox right here that says, should the word count include footnotes? So if I uncheck that, it will drop my word count from 321 down to 291 and then I don't have to worry about it including my footnotes in the word count and notice when I close that it actually changes the default for what's displaying down here so I'm now looking at the word counts without the footnotes there's a second thing to keep in mind though I have actually already pasted my bibliography at the end of my paper and my word counts is including that as well, which again is not what your teacher is, is wanting. Um, if you've also got your cover page, you are probably throwing your word count off that way. So if you have done that, you need to remove that from your word count and just highlight the body of your paper. And then notice again, this adjusts and now it's saying your highlighted text is 199 words out of your total 291, which includes the bibliography. So um, those are a couple of quick ways to make sure that your word count is only including the body of your paper. Keep in mind, you could also keep your bibliography or your cover page as separate documents so that you don't have to use the select tool to get an accurate word count. Thank you. I hope that was helpful.